Good day, grade 9 students. So we are now going to discuss on how we're going to solve your quadratic equation using the quadratic formula. So let's start by giving you some examples. But before we have these examples, let's recall first on how we're going to write your quadratic equation in its standard form and how we're going to identify the values of your A, B, and C. So let's start. So let's say we're given with the quadratic equation 3x squared minus 7x plus 4 equals 0. So this quadratic equation is already written in its standard form. We're in the value of a is the 1 together with our x squared, and that is 3. And the value of our b is equal to negative 7, which is the value together with our variable x. And the value of our c is our constant, which is 4. So let's recall again on how we're going to identify your a, b, and c. So let's say we're given with 5x squared minus 3x minus 1 equals 0. What is the value of your a, b, and c on this example? Yes. So the value of our a here is 5 since it's the numerical coefficient of our x squared. The value of our b is negative 3 since it's a numerical coefficient of our x. And the value of our c is negative 1 since it's our constant value. Very good. Now, let's proceed on how we're going to solve now your quadratic equation using the quadratic formula. But first, let's identify what is the formula that we are going to use in these examples. So our quadratic formula from our previous videos, it is x is equal to negative b plus and minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over... To a. So this is the formula that we are going to use to get the roots of our quadratic equation. So let's say, for example, we're given with 3x squared minus 2x minus 1 equals 0. So to solve this using quadratic formula, Make sure first that our given quadratic equation is written in its standard form. After that, identify the values of our a, b, and c. So in this example, the value of our a is 3. The value of our b is negative 2. And the value of our c is negative 1. After identifying these values, we are going to substitute it in our given quadratic formula, which is negative b plus and minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So we are going to substitute. What again is the value of our b? So the value of our b is negative 2. So we're going to write negative, which is from our given uh, formula. Then our b is negative 2 plus and minus the square root of, again, our b is negative 2 minus 4 times the value of our a is 3. And the value of our C is negative 1 all over 
2a. So 2 times the value of our a is 3. And then we proceed by simplifying these values. Wait. So we proceed by simplifying. So we're going to have negative times negative. So that's positive 2 plus and minus the square root of 2 times 2 is 4. And then after that, we have here 3 values that we need to multiply. So 4 times 3, that is 12, times negative 1. And then 12 times negative 1 is negative 12. So we're going to have minus negative 12. Then we're going to have 2 times 3, that is 6. So all over 6. Then we simplify further. So that is 2 plus and minus the square root of 4 minus negative 12, that is positive 16, all over 6. The square root of 16 is 4. So we're going to have 2 plus and minus 4, all over 6. In this case, we're going to have x sub 1 and x sub 2. So we start first with your addition. So 2 plus 4 is 6 divided by 6. That is 1. And then, here is first that part. Hey, not that one. This one. Then we proceed. So 2 minus 4 now is negative 2 divided by 6. That is negative 2 over 6 or negative 1 third. So our two roots is 1 and negative 1 third. Let's have another example. So let's see. We're given with 5 x squared equals 2x then plus 7. So this example is not yet treated in standard form. So we will write it. To we'll be able to write it in standard form, so we're going to have 5x squared minus 2x minus 7 equals 0. Then identify the values of A, B, and C. The value of A is 5, since it's a numerical coefficient of our x group. The value of B is negative 2, since it's the, value, it's the numerical coefficient of x. The value of C is negative 7, since it's our constant. Then we proceed with our formula again. It's negative B plus and minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. We're going to identify again the value of your b, that again is negative 2, plus and minus square root of, the value of b again is negative 2, squared minus 4, our a is 5, and our c is negative 7. All over 2 times 5. And if we are going to simplify it further, negative times negative, that's positive 2. Plus, oh wait. So we have plus, oh wait, again. We have plus and minus square root of 2 times 2, that's 4, 
minus 4 times 5, that's 20, times negative 7, that's negative 140. All over 2 times 5. We simplify it later on. So 2 plus and minus 4 minus negative 140. Change the sign of the subject hand, proceed to the rule of addition, so that's 144. And then 2 times 5, that is 10. Square root of 144 is 12, all over 10. So again, we have x sub 1 and x sub 2. 2 plus 12 is 14. 14 over 10. Lowest term, divisible by, divisible by 2, so that's 7 over 5. 14 divided by 2 is 7, 10 divided by 2 is 5. While Rx of 2, 2 minus 12, that's negative 10 over 10, or negative 1. Wait, let's rewrite that one. So our final answer is negative 1 and 7 over 5. Okay, let's have another example. So for our third example, so this is already example number 3. So let's say we have 3x squared plus 4x then minus 1 equals 0. So we identify with this in standard form. So it's written in standard form. Value of our a, a coefficient of x squared, that is 3. The value of our b, a coefficient of our x, that's 4. The value of our c, the, the our constant, which is negative 1. So we write again our formula, negative b plus and minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So negative of our b is 4 plus and minus our b again is 4. 4 times the value of a is 3. The value of our c is negative 1. All over 2 times 3. After substitution, we simplify it further. So negative of positive 4, that's negative 4. Plus and minus the square root of 4 times 4 is 16. Then 4 times 3 is 12. 12 times negative 1. So we're going to have negative 12 all over 2 times 3, that is 6. Simplifying further, we have negative 4 plus and minus the square root of 16 plus minus negative 12, that is positive 28 all over 6. So 28 is not a perfect square, but we can simplify this one further. So we can simplify the radicals. This can be simplified as 4 times 7. Then the square root of 4 is 2. So we're going to have negative 4 plus and minus 2, which is the square root of 4, square root of 7, all over 6. Then simplify it. Much more, since 4 and 2 and 6 are both all divisible by 2, we simplify it by dividing all these coefficients by 2. So negative 4 divided by 2 is negative 2. 2 divided by 2 is 1, so square root of 7. All over 6 divided by 2 is 3. And then we are going to have 